साइकिल पाओ जी भागले कहीं क्यों साइकिल पाओ बोले मैं जाओ Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Asher today's video is little different today we are we are not doing any home cooking or we are not doing uh, any outing video today is more in terms of a talk that we that you know we want to have with you hey i mean, that we want to have with you uh, it's more on uh, what it's more on uh, what we what we uh, use for our editing to add. give me a second thodi der I thought why not uh, I share whatever I have learned so far I know I'm not an expert we have just started our YouTube channel we have we have not really a, uh, got a huge subscriber base as such we are not even getting views at this point we just started that's why it's understandable but I you know, felt we should really share what we have learned uh, so first thing we when we started we used a editor called as Viva video Viva video was the editor that we were using it was pretty good honestly speaking uh, it was coming for us on a, you know it there's a free edition as well uh, but the subscribed edition or the vip is what they call is costing around 5 dollars a month uh, that was why why editor that we used to uh, we used to edit our videos on uh, now it is very recently we are switched to premier rush uh, premier rush is coming around uh, 10 dollars a month that's the deal that premier rush has I'll talk a little on the you know Viva Video and the Premiere Rush. What are the pros? What are the cons? How easy is it to use the Viva Videos and how easy is it to use Premiere Rush? Uh, and to be very clear, you don't need to be any expert in video editing as such. I wasn't an expert. I started browsing. I started self learning. That's how I ended up using these tools. These are very good tools uh, to edit your videos. Uh, Viva on on a side, Viva is really easy to use tool for any new beginner. uh in terms of different options it has it gives you different transition options it gives you different filtering options it has got effects as well that you can use uh you can add background music uh, to your clips uh you can also uh increase or decrease the volume of your music that you do in background uh you can also increase or decrease the audio of your clip as well uh so from different variety of options why what does support lot of options uh the different text that you can add the different uh, uh music libraries that it has uh the different transition efforts uh, uh effects the different uh, you know filters uh, that you can add all these things viva does support one of the challenging part with viva videos is really you know you can only do it on mobile uh, i didn't had any option to go and cut or edit your videos on a desktop or your pc basically so that i felt is little challenging because the frame rate also comes into picture where viva video uh, is little you know uh, it's 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 a little tough in terms of how you want to cut your videos at what frame you want to cut your videos uh, that's a challenging part of viva video but other than that if if you take out you know uh, the you know the the computer part you know you can't edit on your laptops or your desktop you this i i didn't find an app to download and install on a laptop or a computer apart from that and apart from you know the frames frames per second thing if you take those two out viva video is really good it has got lot of variety of options there are bunch of options bunch of things that you can do you can edit your videos and all now comparing that with premiere rush how does that work premiere rush on the other side has got both mobile as well as your pc option as in you can edit your videos on mobile as well as your pc uh, premium premier rush does not have as many options in terms of uh, uh, there's a lot of wind and the phone is you know, falling down 
Premier Rush does not give you a lot of options in terms of transition. It gives you very limited options uh, from what I have explored so far. There are only three options that I saw. And those three are good. Those three are good enough. Uh, but comparing it with Viva, they have got a lot of options in terms of uh, transitioning part. Now coming to music. Uh, that's where I felt Premier Rush is a little game changer because it has got an auto duck option, meaning you can add your background music just like how you do in Viva. Uh, but thing is, uh, there's an option called auto duck. Are you good? Okay. There's an option called auto duck where uh, your background music will automatically duck down or it will automatically go down uh, when uh, when the voice is, uh, when people are talking. Like, you know, if somebody's talking, when somebody's voice is going on, then your auto mu then your background music will automatically go down. And whenever there's there isn't any voice of the speaker, then the volume will come up for the background music. That's a very pretty good option for auto duck that they have. Uh, that I felt is really useful. And then uh, the frames. Coming to the frames part, uh, Premier Rush has got a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, uh, the frames per second. I think they have got 30 frames per second and you can, it is, it will help you a lot in terms of editing, in terms of which frame you exactly want to cut your clip at, which frame you want to continue your clip from. Uh, that's where I felt Premier Rush is, is really a handy tool. Uh, but in and out, Premier Rush costs, costs you around $10 a month, whereas your Viva costs you around $4.49 a month, including tax, it's $5. Uh, it's cheaper, Viva Video is cheaper, definitely, uh, compared to Premiere Rush. Viva Video has got a lot of other options in terms of transitions, in terms of filters, in terms of effects. In fact, uh, I should tell you this, Viva Video, you can do your effects and all. Uh, Premiere Rush, I wasn't able to see that option yet. Uh, but again, the, those are positive sides of Viva. Uh, but if you look at, if you're really someone who's looking at, let me see where she is. She's there. But if you really look at uh, in terms of the frames per second or in terms of the auto duck, just give me one second. Ayat, either, either hello. Okay, good. But either either okay? Yeah. So Viva video when it you know, uh, but if you're someone who's really looking for frames per second, as you know exactly, you need the frame where you want to edit your video, or you're looking for uh, the auto duck option of what Premiere Rush has, that is not supported by Viva. Uh, but otherwise, if you're someone who's new, who want to explore how to use an editor tool and all, you can go and use Viva. Uh, Premiere Rush on the other side is great. It is simple. Uh, both, in fact, both are simple. Uh, you really don't need to be an expert. You can try it out. Uh, I personally have switched to Premiere Rush now. I have been using Viva for quite some time. I have switched to Premiere Rush because it, it gives me an option to go and edit my videos on a PC which is where I feel more comfortable because of the larger screen and all. But I can also do it on mobile. But again, the frames per second and that auto duck option is something which I was totally attracted towards. Uh, and my personal opinion, my personal choice, I have been a use, I have been someone who has been using Viva for quite some time. And I was really happy about that. Uh, Premier Rush is something which I've shifted to now very recently. And I've started uh, editing using Premier Rush. Let's see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, that's that's more on uh, Viva versus Premiere. So it's your choice on what you really want to go with, what you really don't want to go with, what feature is important to you. Uh, like I said, if frames per second, if auto duck is uh, something which is really important for you, as in is you don't you want the music to automatically go up and go down, uh, then you exactly want the frames per second where you want to edit your videos. Then Premiere Rush probably might be a good option. But if you're someone who is new, who want to explore more and all uh, and see how it goes, then Viva Video is definitely an option for you. Uh, go ahead and explore. Uh, and both both have got uh, export options of uh, uh, 4K. So that's a good part of it. I uh, It personally helps me when I can you know be able to export it into 4K. Uh, let me check where she is. Okay, she's safe. Uh, but yeah, it's it's up to you. Go explore Viva Video and Premiere Rush depending upon what your need is. Uh, that's all for today, honestly. And we are out here on a park. It's 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 really sunny and it's a really good day today. So we are here in a park. Uh, me and I, we both are here in park. She's she's playing. She's enjoying her own little thing, the bubbles one. Uh, but hey, do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? Kuch bolte? Hello, hi, salam. Dikha te kaisa karte ki dikha? Idhar karo.